last inbound play? Ours? Yes. Well, like at the end of the first half, we've been the same one more or less, and mm -hmm. James got a layup, and we went back to that, and um, he was covered. Nene they got it, made a great pass to James, and I uh, got in the lane, up out. What is going through your head, and all of that? Well, was makes going it. <laughs> 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 I was just. No, they they executed it real well. Uh, you know, we should have ever got to that that point, but we'll take it. We'll get better. You can you can after a win, we can teach them and get on a little bit more than normal. So the spirits are good. Thought our defense was very good, especially in the second half. We came up, I don't know, two or three 24 second violation problem. Um, got a little tired. I think James got a little tired. And that's, you know, have to get used to being the point guard and play and stuff like that. But it's you know, early in the season, that's going to happen. So. You said should not come down to that. How you, was it just missed shots or how did the offense Well, a little bit of missed shots, but we got stagnant. We just uh, started going one-on-one -on -one a little bit. Then we missed some shots. It just compounded it. Um, but it starts with the ball wouldn't move. And, you know, you might go one or two times, then the ball moves one time, then it's one-on-one. And we got to we gotta, uh, be a little bit more disciplined, not be a one-on-one -on -one so much. Right. Not, not talking James, because that's the one-on-one -on -one guy. Everybody else, if we move the ball, cut, and pass, and uh, and have some rhythm to our to our offense. And the first half it was good, and the second half it wasn't wasn't real good. Is that playing into what Dallas wants you to do? They're trying to have yeah. a grinded out game. Yeah, they they were, they they did, okay. and uh, they throw zones and those zones and switching and that, and, and you beat that with pace and rhythm and uh, and moving the ball, and we just did. Well. Mike, obviously a little messy at the end, but what's it like as a coach to be able to put the ball in Harden's hands and, and know, you know, in a tight game, it's your first tight game with this team, and know that you're either you're going to get some type of shot, you're going to get he's going to be able to dish, penetrate, or he's going to get contact and draw that type of foul. I mean, that's a lot of options. Yeah, and this. you know, it's not bad going down there in the game with him. And so we just keep it close. We got a real good chance of winning because he can, he can do that. That's what he does. That's what. Uh, that's why that he's one of the best in the league at. You know, just so good at drawing fouls, getting in the lane, and, and he hit some, threw some nice passes. We just happened to miss shots and crucial fouls. We couldn't get them, get them away, get them out. And they hit good shots. Got to get them credit. They kept fighting. Eric had a really good, solid first mm -hmm. half, and then he missed a lot of shots. Had about a lot of bad looks in the second half. Do you keep encouraging him to oh, take yeah. those shots? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, and you know, right now without Pat, it's kind of messing Eric up a little bit in the sense of. I gotta take him in and out, put him with Tyler, then I take him out to so I don't play him 36 minutes, and then he comes back, and and hopefully I we will talk about as a staff and try to find a better way not to keep taking him in and out of games. And it's he was rolling in the first half, and I could have kept him in in the first quarter, but then if he stays in, then I've got trouble with Tyler. You know, just complicates things. So we'll figure out maybe a better system for him, but a lot of it is due to Pat not being here. Ideally, what do you see? Him and Harden in the backcourt being really good. <laughs> <laughs> really good. No, Eric, and I told you before the game, he's very underrated. He's one of the better players in the league, and I don't. Injuries are probably setting back, and he's only 27 years old. And he's one of the best players in the league. He's really good, and his defense out there tonight is terrific. So, hey, I'm just glad we got him tied up for four more years. That's good. My, my team guys have four assists in the second half. Two, four assists. Us? Yeah. yeah. Yes. To your point about ball movement, when you're well, no, it wasn't it. Yeah. That's the when, when you're in game, how can you stress that to the next guy? Well, you know, with those little things, just showing tape and going through it and getting getting better sets and understanding the players a little bit better and everybody understanding what we're doing, uh, we'll get better at it. We'll get better at it. And we know that's that's a problem. Uh, we've stressed the defense a lot early, and it's showing up now. Our offense is behind. We got to pick it up. You mentioned James. I mean, getting a little worn down at the end. Is that, is that going to be a balance? least early on to, to where he can find the flow and the rhythm. I mean, he's, he's doing so many things at once right. in front of this team and trying to recommit on defense. Right. It is tough. And, and, I, and I told him it's tough to be an MVP. And it's on good mouth. <laughs> so <laughs> he'll have to suck it up. He knows that. Uh, but uh, he, uh, uh, yeah, he's an unbelievable player. And he is committed on defense. Man. And he's committed to uh, the chemistry of the team. He's doing a lot for us. And we miss Pat right now. We miss that somebody else to bring it up. And, you know, Eric does some, but when Eric's not in there, then it's all, all uh, James. And that's, that's tough. Coach, you have to go on the road for five straight games. How do you prepare the team for this time schedule? 
just you got to play them this morning, and, uh, you know, I know it's going to kill the shake and everything else, but uh, obviously we got Cleveland too, it's going to be ready. Then we got New York on Wednesday, got to be ready. So they know they're professionals, they've been around. And, we, and we're not old, so there's no reason why we're not ready. But you remember thought you would have said, my defense is ahead of my offense with this group of the type of guys you had. Well, of course. <laughs> um, I mean, what does that say? Because no, it's I, good. No, it's really good. And uh, you know, it just it just shows you how much they're committed to winning. And they are. And we'll fix the offense. And they, they keep the defense right there. Then uh, we've got a chance to be really good. Is the pace about where you want it to be offensively? Is that the thing uh, you have to... Uh, yeah, up and down and around and, and again that's where I think we miss Pat who's a natural pusher and do you know a little scrappy and a bit more pace and uh, I hate to keep saying that but we miss it and uh, on this team we have a lot of threes and, and that's a little you know we're missing the guy so but we'll get over it we'll get through it. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.